Hey, this is Conan with CR Components again. Today we are working on a drive motor. This goes on a Case 40XT, uh, 60s, 70s, and 75XTs. So when you have issues with leaking into the chain case, this is a good fix. Basically, we go into the shaft assembly and we replace this spacer ring, new bearings, new seals, your main failure is that spacer. This is the cross section of an OEM one. This is the cross section of our new Made in the USA replacement spacer ring. So this will get a lot more hours out of your motor without having that problem with the bearings getting loose and everything like that. So. Uh, you can check out another video on the easy disassembly with common tools around your shop. And this is going to be the assembly video with common shop tools. Don't need anything special. So first you take your new bearing on this side, put it on the right way. And then you have another different part number. So the thicker one goes towards your shaft, the thinner bearing goes on the top if you forgot how you took it apart, uh, which in my case is pretty common. So you get your spacer ring, there's chamfers on both sides. If there's a chamfer only on one side, it's gotta, it's gotta go down against your upper bearing. But if there's any questions on that, just give us a call. So you wanna stack your bearings like so. Bring them over to your press. Yeah, a little more in there. We'll get them started here. Normally do this in our assembly area in the shop. We have a, a lot larger press, but we're doing this in our teardown area. But you just want to make sh make sure your bearing, your top bearing, gets aligned before you just power through both of them there. bit of a tricky part when you get to here you can just use a couple blocks there is if you have a special sized pipe obviously you can use that but these are a little bit of an odd size so if you have some good steel blocks you can just align these So you do want to go just until you see it, see it on the bottom, give it just a little bit of extra pressure. Now, come over here to your bike. This is the tricky part with this, this big snap ring. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. Um, definitely want to have your safety glasses. So that ring should have no slop in it when you, when you hold it there. If it feels real loose, you might have to get a shim or if you have some other thicknesses on hand. But usually the one that comes off will go on with the right preload. Like there's a lot of preload on there. <coughs> so you want to get your one side stuck in there, or we can kind of go from this side. I'm going to get that started, and you're just going to keep pressure on this. 
get your favorite hammer. I'm just going to work this around. Now there ain't so much holding that in there. If you get hung up right here, you gotta just take a screwdriver right in your armpit like that. You just flex that up a hair. Just until you get it past. Now, as you're coming around, the further you come around, the more you risk that popping out of there. So as soon as you can, get you a vice grip on the end of that. Looks like we're close. where the kinetic energy kind of makes you sweat a little bit, but you'll be all right. there lock that vice grip in so that for sure doesn't come off and then as you come around tap that if it gets hung up uh, you don't want to beat on that too hard because you'll you'll bend it so you want to get a punch right on the edge in there just like so And then if it's not quite seated, just give it a couple taps. It'll go right in there. That's how you want it. Nice and tight. You should hardly be able to turn that. So that one I can just a little bit. But there, now your ring's locked in there. And you're good for your reassembly. So. Keep in mind, we have the heavy duty spacers for sale. Um, also both bearings or it comes all in a kit. And then we also have the seal kits sold separately or together. It's one thing we try to always do is offer individual parts. If you don't see it on our website, just call in. One of our guys will, will set you up. Um, a lot of times we even sell parts out of the shop that individually we may not normally sell. Um, so it's one thing we like doing for everybody is if they only want this spacer you can buy that You don't have to buy the whole kit um, But thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions Put them in the comments and uh, we'll respond right away